Okay, let's uh, see some demonstration regarding the operators. Uh, first of all, I start my GCC uh, Docker compiler and go to the home. This directory and first of all I show you the simple increment decrement operator a simple program called OP it defined uh, two variables a a and b to ln5 and c is zero uh, so I want to maybe do additional operator so what i want to do then a plus b so if i want to print them i can do like that i can say like here and ask to print c then answer will be printed on the terminal so let me save it and then run gcc opc sorry like that it compiled and then a dot out so answer is 17. if i want to print the value of uh, a and b also on the terminals i can say like this print a and then maybe plus operator and print b and maybe assignment sign and then print d so then here i can print a b and see so when i compile this program you might see i get like this meaningful output 5 plus 12 plus 5 17. similarly we can see the other operator like this one will the decrement operator Uh, this is the increment operator uh, combined and that so I forgot to change here 12 subs 12 kind of minus 5 should be 7 uh, 7 right so if I want to do it properly I want to change here as well Bit. So then I will get the proper output like here. So in case I want to see a multiplication operator, so this is multiplication operator. So then here we I also want to change that to multiplication symbol. Right, and run then 12 multiplied by 60. Uh, so then uh, I show you division. A like that, and then compile it and run that. See because decimal part is omitted so let me try now modular for it a mod b maybe i change uh, value of i to value of maybe seven and instead of here i put this so basically you see percentage sign in within the formatted the string has a meaning so so compiler expect some formatted character after the percentage sign so because of that we cannot print percentage sign in case we want to print the percentage sign here we need to put two percentage signs and then that will work so I 
some point and then run it. So you see 12 modular 7 is right. When we divide 12 by 7, reminder is fine. So that is what we call modular operator. Right. So that's how basic arithmetic operator works. Now let me show you uh, how this uh, assignment operator works. So you know this is equal sign uh, like here. Uh, like when you say like this, so that means v v value of b assigned to c. This is basic assignment operator. You experience that. So in addition to that, there are several assignment operators as I mentioned. So one of these like that. This is similar to this. So you know in the maths there might be in if if this is equal operate if it is equal sign so we say c equal c plus b that is not so c in mathematics c equal c plus b happens in case only b is zero but this is not an equal sign in computer computing or programming so it says add c to b and assign the result to c so that can be shorthand or that can be write it in the short form here like this plus equal b so then it means add c to b and assign back to c so i remove that uh, so then uh, let me now print the value of uh, C plus value of B to uh, on the screen. So value of uh, C and value of B because I add B to C, not A. So I print value of B and value of C after this. Initial value, you see initial value of C is, uh, maybe I put initial value of C is three. So then here in this statement say, add value B to C and assign it to C. That means initial value of B is seven, we add c to b that is 3 plus 7 it become 10 10 will be assigned to c that final answer we should get 10 as c so my uh, b value is basically uh, 7 still and my c value become 10 uh, let me now uh, compile and run this program. You see, C, B value is 7, C become 10. Similarly, there are a couple of assignment operators. So, like here, that equal to this. These both I could. I will show you. So, for example, let run this first. So, I comment this line now. So, then I run this first. C minus B assigned to C. Value of C is uh, 3. 3 minus B is minus 4. Sign to C is minus 4. I compile that and run. So, you see, assign uh, value of C is minus 4 value of this C7. So I open the program and this one, so I commit it out now. And I open the comment here. So after execute this statement, so we get the similar same result. You might uh, see that. 
I save it and compile it and run the program. It's the same result, same as previous. So both the statements are equal. So that means you can write either like this or like that. So same applies uh, to multiplication as well, like here, it's similar to this. You can compile and see. So this one is similar to this. So similarly, this one is similar to these two, these two statements are also, these two statements are also similar. So those symbols call it as assignment operators. So similarly, so there is another operator we discussed called plus plus and minus minus. I will show you that now. So what I would do now, uh, I remove these two lines, I write like that. I say plus plus a a plus plus a assigned to c. So and then I print the value of a b c first, and then value of a as well. So I put c and a values on the terms. So what I do here, the initial value of a is twelve. I increment value of a and then assign it to c. So initial value of 12, 12 increment by 1 is 13. So then it assigned to c 30. So then value of c and value of a both become 13. Uh, let me compile and run that. So you see both become 13. I will do little change. So instead of add plus plus to the front of the variable, in front of the variable, I added after the variable name like that. And then let's compile and run this program. Compile and run it. You see now the result is different. So in the previously, both C and A are 13. Now when I run that, C is 12 and A is 13. Why is the difference? Because when you apply this after the variable, that is false fix, then what happened? The compiler basically uh, the, uh, assign the value here to the C. After that is apply this plus plus operator to the variable. When you put that plus plus in front of the variable, then plus plus will apply to the variable first and then results go to the C. So for example, uh, I will show you with uh, similarly this uh, minus minus operator works. When I apply like here, operator minus minus to a variable a, then what happened? Initial value of a is 12. So that initial value 12 will be assigned to c. Then value of c become 12. After that, value of a will be reduced by one. Then a should become 11. So we get then, 12 and 11 on the terminal. So let me compile and run that. So you see 12 and 11. So if I do this now, instead of putting minus minus in front, then both C and A become 11 because then what's happened? This minus minus operator apply to the variable and then value of uh, a that is become reduced by one, initial value is 12, then it reduced by one is 11, 11 assigned to C. So then both variables are 11. So let me compile and run that. So you see both are 11. So that's how increment decrement operator works when you apply it to postfix and prefix. Right. So now I will show you uh, the effects of uh, binary operators. So C has different binary operators for that. 
demonstration, I have a simple program called bit. So there I define a function called print bit. You don't know still how to define functions. And I implement this print bit function to print the bit values. So it is a recursive function. You may learn that later on. So don't look at this part uh, at the moment, last part. Look at the main program. In the main program, I could get the, what we call it unsigned integer variable. So without sign. So the, it's a positive integers. If we want to get positive integers, we define that in C as unsigned integers. So I have two, uh, uh, three unsigned integers, uh, positive integers defined. For variable, two variables called A and B. Initial value is 12, B value is 15. And there is a variable called C, initial value is zero. So then I apply the operator A and B, binary and operator, to the variable A and B. After that, I print A, B, C both in decimal form here. And in here, in this three line, I print A in binary form. In this line, I print B in binary form. This line, I print C in binary form. So let's compile and see how it works. So you see, 12. This is the binary format of 12, 15. So this is the binary format of 15. When you apply 12 and 15, this operator, binary bitwise operator, applies to each bits of these two numbers. So then if you do 0, 1, 0, binary and operation, 0, 1 in binary and 0, 1, 1 in 1, 1, 1 become 1. So then the result of binary value is this. So this is equal to 12. That's why we get 12 and 15, 12. So that is how binary n works. So if we want to see how binary O works, so instead of n operator, we put O operator here. Right? Binary O operator. So maybe I put output of binary O binary O operator okay. now save it compile and run so this is the result of binary O so in the O operation any of the bit is one result is one so as you see 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So answer is 15. Then you O 12, O 15, answer get 15, binary O. So let's see exclusive operation. In C, exclusive O represent by this. So we maybe, instead of this symbol, I will print this symbol now on the family. And this called exclusive O. So let me compile the program back and run this. So this is exclusive O. 12 exclusive O. 12 exclusive O. 15 is 3. How it become that? So you see in the exclusive O, when two binary values are ones, result is 0. If two binary values are different. The results kind of like, if zero and one it get, become one, one zero become one. If it is zero, 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 one, one also zero in the exclusive O. So these are the, our values. This is binary representation of 2A. This is binary representation of 15. When you add, do binary XO, when you do zero and one binary XO, the result is one. So when you when you do zero and one again binary XO, result is one. When you XO, one one actually result is zero. One one also result is zero. We only get last two bits, only get ones. That equivalent to three. So that's why we get the results three after do exclusive operation. 
So similarly, there are several bitwise operators available. Uh, maybe uh, I will show one more, like uh, complement operator. Right. Uh, this. Uh, sorry. Uh, I do this. A complement and then assign to C. We are not using uh, B value in this. So compile and run. You see? So this is a 2L. 1100 is 2L. Then it, when you do exclusive, it become this. in binary form because basically in, in, in when integers we use so basically you know there is a sign bit at the end so which represent minus or plus uh, so when you do like here uh, binary exclusive basically it, it, it kind of like uh change uh, all zeros to ones and all ones to zeros so so maybe i write uh 15 here yeah, like b value is 15 plus 15 it's exclusive we get the different value so right so you can try those samples i will upload this program uh to the uh your lms okay let's stop